Hey guys, what's up? It's like Superist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 4 of Kimito Boku. And the previous episode was actually a lot, a step up, a big improvement from the first two episodes because of an addition of a new character, Tachibana. I'm not exactly sure what his full name is, maybe I should research it right now. Tachibana Chizuru. I'll just call him Tachibana. And with the addition of that character, it became a lot livelier. A lot more interesting so i'm excited to see now what's going to happen after he joins the group so without further ado let's get into episode four of kimi to boku hey guys before we continue with the reaction don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads and with that let's go back to the reaction all right nice uh acoustic guitar with some maracas in the background in a on a summer night. Who's this? Oh, there's six of them now. The girl. Right. All right. <laughs> Okay, Masaki. Alright, and finally... Oh, I forgot. Alright, I kind of forgot about this, but in the first episode... Okay, so he was the one narrating... He was the one... It was Kaname who was narrating in this... Uh, in, in the first part of this episode. And I also actually forgot, but in the first episode... There was this... Interaction with one of the teachers. I'm not sure what the name of the teacher was, but... I'm not sure why Kaname is a bit... He avoided not really but he blushed a little bit what was the name of that professor he blushed when that professor joined their conversation and wait does he have a thing for teachers because when he was a kid he had a thing for his kindergarten teacher yeah and and kaname seems to be the miserly kind of person as well of the group at the very least so hopefully in this episode we're going to see a little bit of the backstory of Kaname and why he's like that as a person, what happened. He seems a little bit of a mis misanthrope, but not really. Or just maybe a miserly person. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> so this was all pretend. <laughs> she definitely likes him so much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, obviously he does. Oh my gosh, it ruined. Anyway, I just thought... Kaname actually seems like similar to Hatsune. Okay, here's that, that teacher that I was talking about. Does he like this teacher? In a romantic way? Oh, 
What's the relationship between these two? I really want to know. Okay, backstory. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, so that's what happened. Why was he pouting? All right. So that's where the relationship started. <laughs> okay, something happened along the way. Because he might still be having a grudge on him. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I really want to know what happened between him and that teacher whose name is Akira. Because he likes the, the kindergarten teacher and he thinks that she likes him or that he's stealing her. Wait a minute, did they get married? Is that what happened? You know, it's very interesting for, for somebody as young as that to have these kinds of, uh, I guess, emotions and emotional phases or emotional issues. Okay. Hopefully that softens him up a bit toward him. Okay, so he respects him. He looks up to him. Does he not remember? Or does he not recognize him? It'd be nice if he actually recognized them, right? How did they get in? Okay, 
ースの変わり目に風こじらせちゃうなんて、カラメッチ、おじいちゃんみたい。<笑>風のせいで風邪ひいたんだよ。<笑>平気だってねえ似合う似合うけどあんましてると視力落ちるよ。Right. Now I, okay, now I realize. k a n a m e is the, the serious type. He's not really miserly, but he's really just too serious for his own good. He should act his age, basically. This deep talk right now. What's going on? What in the world is happening? <laughs> About that was so weird. Was she just acting or was that all real?、Mm. Okay. We need to see a little bit of the past. What's, what's he hiding? What's this photo about? Oh, wait, no, this is pretty recent. He's probably hiding it somewhere. Maybe that's who, she who he likes. That's not true. What happened to her? Yeah. He, does, he definitely seems like the type. Doesn't want to get help from others. From others. Yeah, he's like that. Hmm. Yeah, there are people who are like that. No?
What's happening? <laughs> okay. He finally laughed. First time that he's ever done that. In the first four episodes. Okay, that one's great. That was a really good punchline right there. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we finally got to see a little bit more of Kaname and his past, his backstory, and why he reacted that way to that teacher, Akira Sensei. So basically, he saw him first as a rival, which as a kid is a little bit too cute, I think. Because he, he had this crush on his kindergarten teacher. But then when he and another... I'm not sure if that was another teacher. Could just be another student or just a, a teaching assistant possibly. Visited their kindergarten. Kaname saw him, Akira, as a rival to Kaori Sensei's heart. But later on, he actually looked up to him. He respected him and saw him as a person or a figure to admire or to aspire to be. So I, I guess that's the relationship between them and that's how Kaname sees Akira Sensei. And then we get to see a little bit of his background as well. Okay, the, the part about the mom, that was pretty weird. I'm not sure if the mom was just acting or if that's really how she is. A, a little bit too over dramatic or melodramatic actually. And mushy. A little bit too emotional, sentimental, you know, gushy. Which is funny, actually. It's funny to see that happen. Uh, it's funny to see their relationship being depicted there. But yeah, I guess now I understand Kaname a little bit more. He's not really the miserly type. He's more of the serious type. The serious and stern type of person, right? He has concern for others, but he doesn't really want to show it. I guess you can say he's stone-faced or just very stern, austere. He's he takes everything very seriously, but he does show concern and compassion for his friends. But he doesn't want to receive that in return. He doesn't want... I don't know why, actually, because I, I sort of resonate with that. You want to help others, but you don't necessarily want others to... Well, I guess in my case, I don't really care if I receive it if i if that gets returned right it's fulfilling just to be able to help others out and whether or not you get anything in return is a bonus but anyway so we get to see a little bit of his childhood a little bit of his background we get to see his childhood friend hisako okay that last scene was very funny that was a really good punchline to this episode so apart from that, not really much happened, except for the fact that he got sick and he had to stay home and we got to see his room and his house and got to know a little bit more about Kaname's past, about his family. But really nothing serious there, nothing overly dramatic. So just, you know, the usual shenanigans from the group as well. So yeah, that was a really nice episode. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.